It's a history haven, and it all starts here at the Highline Heritage Museum. Hey, how's it going? I'm Guard. Oh, hi, I'm Nancy. Nancy, what is this thing here? So this is a medieval onyx. It was found in the, during the construction of the SeaTac airport and when they were doing a second runway. So they're at the airport excavating and they find this thing here. Correct. And they found everything but the head. The nine foot tall giant sloth roamed this area 13,000 years ago. Now that's history. Is it kind of weird to think these things are actually here in Burien and SeaTac and Des Moines running around years and years ago? I know, it's really interesting, really fascinated, and it's really happy for us to be able to tell the story. I mean, just the idea that every time you go to the airport, you will think of this little creature running throughout the area. So what kind of noise does that thing make? <laughs> <laughs> the museum is filled with more than just old bones. You can find artifacts linked to cities like SeaTac, Burien, Des Moines, White Center, and Normandy Park. So Nancy, where are we? Everyone has a right to tell the story. Everyone has a right to tell the home history. And I think that why it's important to me is that it's just so much to tell. I mean, I'm, I love storytelling, but in this case, this is real. This is from real people telling the story, and I'm just here helping that. You could spend hours here learning all about the history of Seattle's backyard. The displays are impressive, and nearly everyone pitching in is a volunteer. Man, this place is huge. Hey, how's it going? I'm Guard. Hi, I'm Roger Price. Hey, Roger, you're I'm, one of the volunteers I, here? Yes, I am. And where are we right now? We're in the collections room, the museum, and I'm just uh, doing a little painting on one of the exhibits for the SeaTac. Oh, that's really sweet. And what's all this stuff back here? Oh, well, Guard, you aren't going to believe what I found the other day. So how many yearbooks do you have back here? Well, I don't know. There's quite a few. Everything from the 40s up to the, the 2000s. And what high school is this from? This is from Tai High School. Tai High School, 1971. This picture right here, you gotta be kidding me. No. Is that Steve Poole? Yes, it is. Oh, I love it. He looks great. Yeah, he does, sure does. That's a great picture. This is just the start of the rich history of Seattle's South Side. Fort Dent in Tuck Willow was built back in 1860, named after Frederick Dent, the brother in law to President Ulysses S. Grant. It's located where the Black and Green Rivers meet. Once occupied by the Duwamish tribe, the property is now home to the Seattle Sounders Soccer Club and Sea Wolves Rugby Team. And right around the corner, the historic Nelson House. Built in the 1880s, the land was originally a dairy farm established by Denmark immigrants. In 1905, the Nelson House was built and still stands today. The property was also the spot of the iconic Long Acres racetrack and playground of Triple Crown winner Seattle Slough. Currently, most of the land is now the Westfield South Center Shopping Center. The path of history also leads us right here, Tukwila's Highline Botanical Garden. This rose garden was planted in um, around 2001. And- uh, There are flowers everywhere. I know, they're gorgeous and they <laughs> smell so good. You should try smelling one of those along the wall here. How big is this area? Five and a half acres so far. Big, and it continues to grow, right? We hope so. Oh, we got some red roses here. Fresh is about as fresh as you can get, right? That's right. <laughs> so how exciting is it to watch this just grow and this botanical garden become such a cool place to go? It's been a marvelous 20 years. It's clear, no matter where you look, there's beauty and history throughout Seattle's Southside. <laughs>